Hey guys, Trey Abishai. I'm coming up to the Rage uh, Legends video. All right, I guess we are going to redeem ourselves from the last summons. That was kind of a rip. And the big debacle that was that whole macro uh, mishap where I spent way too much money on things I didn't mean to do. Uh, we are we do have the currently double legendary event basically going on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna pull. As you can see, I have 37 shards. I'm going to pull until I get a legendary. If I have to go ahead and use some gems to get some shards, I will. If I got to spend a few dollars to get some more shards, I'm going to do that. I'm going to guarantee myself at least two Legos, hopefully. We get it right off the bat and it's going to be game changing. Stay tuned. All right. So first things first, before we get into the summons, I do want to talk about real, something really quickly. Uh, my account is kind of progressing. We're, we're, we're making forward progress, so to speak. But however, I'm noticing that I am missing a lot of champions that I could really utilize. Right. So there's a lot of champions here that I could definitely uh, benefit from. As you can see, uh, we're not we're not terrible. We're not super bad off compared to a lot of free to play players. But bear in mind, my account has already had uh, basically set over a little over 17 grand spent on it. So there's a lot of champions I should have. However, obviously with the rate that uh, Polarium releases champions, I don't have them all. I also don't have a lot of the, the fusions and there are so many non-void champions that I could really utilize that would make my life so much easier, right? Uh, so opportunities like these for these double Lego events, it's kind of like a no brainer in my opinion to go ahead and spend to try to get them because I don't know one other, at what other point I would get the champion, if, if that makes sense. Because there are so many legendaries in Rage Shadow Legends that when you get a Lego, um, I mean, there is a very good chance in my case right now that it won't be a duplicate, but it, it seems like almost at this point where you kind of have to take any give me just to kind of catch up, right? Whether it's a duplicate that you can use to empower for faction guardians, whatever the case may be, it seems to make a big difference on what you pull and how that works out for you. Like for example, I don't have a tomb ward, but I do know if I get enough duplicates, I can go ahead and sacrifice those duplicates and just buy a tomb ward and get them, right? Through the through the actual um, the legendary exchange program, right? Uh, now, is he a little expensive? Yes. Uh, is he worth five other legendaries? Possibly, depending on as long as they're a low rank le legendary, legendaries are very, highly not used ones right but overall like you can see as we cycle through my account here i have so many champions that i could possibly get right now that i do feel very confident and go ahead and pulling and as you can see here i don't even have a single of the sylvan watchers yet uh and so that's just a meme for me right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull our shards we have approximately 37 so make an internal guess right now how many shards do you think it's gonna take before i get the legendary champion uh i should be working on penny a little bit here i shouldn't be at penny i think i'm about 50 away from it so we may have to spend a couple thousand gems to go ahead and get it done but i do think we're going to get it under the normal penny so let's go ahead and let's start pulling we'll go for 10 pops right here so let's go all right what are we going to get come on at least give me like fusion champions if you're not going to give me a legendary give me a fusion champion because i've already missed it i'm already out of the fusion champions uh well that's not at all what i wanted okay well, that's not a good start. We're gonna start with the rare tax. Uh, it kind of feels bad. This feels like it's going to get expensive quick. Oh, that's a meme. Okay, well, hmm. Okay, yep, it's gonna be very interesting. Let's keep going and see what else we can get. Also, I'm looking for a Virgis as far as the epics are concerned because I need to build him for my Scarab because I forgot I fed him for some stupid reason. That's a double. Oh, wow. That's so terrible. It's a double rare tax already. Uh, 37 shards. That's uh, that feels bad, man. That feels so bad. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and spend, so spend some diamonds on some gems. Let's see. What, what can I get? Two big packs. By, we'll do it one at a time. We'll do it one at a time, mainly just because I don't want to waste a lot of resources if I don't have to. I kind of like having my gems, especially for, um, I, I prefer to use my diamonds on energy, not on summons, ideally. But in this case, I definitely want to get the legendary and I obviously I want to try to save as much money as possible. I don't want to have to spend any additional money on the game if I don't have to. Uh, nothing so far, man. Okay, what a rip. Uh, we got eight, so we could, I guess, I'll go ahead and buy two more because then that'll give us a, a full on 30. And I guess we'll see what happens from there because I do have the other two packs available uh, for me. 
So that's that one. We'll, we're gonna pull it and then we'll buy the next one afterwards. But I do, if I go ahead and go into the shop here, you guys can see that I, I am working on the pack string. I do have the last two here. So this would be $65 for 37 more shards. Um, not a terrible deal. We may we may use it, but it's kind of also a rip because those shards, I don't know, are necessarily that valuable. But at the current moment, double legendary, they can increase the value just a little bit. All right, come on, give me a legendary. Save me, please. Or don't, uh, or, or don't, That that's that's cool too. Um, so yeah, I guess we're, we're gonna buy one more. Um, so this will give us 20 pulls. Hopefully we get it in the 20 pulls. It's literally making me go to pity. For those of you who watched my channel for all the other games and all the other gacha games I played, uh, this is absolutely no surprise that once again, I'm going all the way to pity to get a freaking legendary champion. Cause that's just my luck. It's just like my innate luck, right? Um, as I'm just forever doomed to go to pity. Oh, come on, look at these epics. Those epic rates are just insane. Come on, give me fusion champions. Give me legendaries. Let's see gold. I, I like gold. Come on. Stag. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back. I guess we're going to have to go grab some more shards. All right, so we are back. We went ahead and we grabbed some more shards. Like you can see here, we're at 37 and we do have 2,300 gems left just in case we have to buy more. I'm really hoping that we hit the pity before there. There it is, right off the rip. Who did we get? Um, okay, walking two more, tomb drag. That's a new champion for me. I don't know how well he is. Martyr, this is a dupe. Uh, this could be okay though for my faction guardians. Let's see. Uh, walking Tomb Drang, what does he bring to the table? So he is instantly activates any HP, okay, uh, oh, so okay. Attacks all enemies, has a 75% chance of placing an HP debuff on all enemies for two turns. This debuff cannot be resisted. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Okay, so no accuracy needed on this guy. That's really cool. Uh, equalizes the HP of all allies and then attacks one enemy. The HP levels of all allies will be brought up to the level of the ally with the highest HP. Oh, the attack will ignore 30% of the target's defense. Did I just get like an amazing champion? Like he seems pretty legit to me so far. Uh, reflect 30% of this of the damage this champion receives back to the attacker if this champion has 50% HP or more. Wow, okay, yeah, so he looks good. He does not look like a terrible champion, at least to me. Uh, let me know, comments down below, is he good? He seems really good, especially for Night Rev. I feel like he's gonna be really helpful for Night Rev. Um, at this point though, man, we just bought all those and we needed one. We needed one shard to get it, to get the double, but you know what? It's okay, I'm gonna take it. Overall, that'll work for me. Let's go see what this does for me on Faction Guardians. I may, uh, wait, oh, 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 where, Faction Guardians, here we go. I don't know why, where I was going. Let's go to Faction Guardians. I wanna say, um, so who, where, where where does Martyr fall in? Is Martyr a Sacred Order? She is, so I, that's my third Martyr. Okay, so it's my third martyr, martyr, unfortunately. So I could empower one. I don't use Martyr, so I'm not gonna worry about empowering her myself. I'll hold on to her, maybe I'll get a fourth one and that'll be for my speed boost, but it would be really, really nice to get the Sacred Orders done. So that way I could have the speed boost. Just throwing it out there, game. I don't know if you're listening, Valerium. You want to, you know, throw me a bone after everything else? That'd be great. Just throwing it out there. But overall, not terrible. Um, it was worth it. It was, it was worth it. At the end of the day, we got a new champion that looks solid. It's gonna be someone for me to go ahead and build and play with. Uh, so I'm okay with that overall. Um, but yeah, not quite exactly how I wanted it, but still a very good one. And at least I got one champion that was not a duplicate at the end of the day. So that's great. Uh, Leave, leave comments down below. Who did you guys get? What two champions did you get? Did you get something good? Did you get something bad? Uh, do you feel like uh, Plarium's hoodwinking you all the time? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear more. And until next time, guys, have a good rest of your day. Peace.